I can't believe they lost the game. I can't believe it. But 18 nil after 13 minutes. 24-6 after, after 20 minutes. They were playing bloody good footy. And, and, and then, you know, you get the 24-6 and it's like, oh, yeah, we're going really well. We're going really well. And then stop playing footy. Why? Why? Why did, why, why did they stop playing footy? They just gave up. They packed it in. They put the cue in the rack. And they stopped trying. I don't understand it. Like, what got you the 24-6? How about you just keep doing that instead of being fuckwits and packing it in? No wonder we finished 11th. I want to hear that we're, we've, had a, we've had a good season, we've done better than we... Like, we were a bottom four team and we finished 11th instead of 14th. Yay! Let's celebrate! Let's shout it from rooftops how bloody good we are! How much better we are. We've, we've improved from last year, a year where we sacked our coach after 10 games. Is that the standard that we set as Dragons fans? Absolutely pathetic. That was not a good season. It's not much of an improvement at all. It's less wins than we had in 2022 under Griffin as coach, and everybody said that was a failure of a season. This was a failure of a season. We have a hell of a lot of work to do. We are nowhere near the best teams in this comp, and the players that we're bringing in aren't going to make us better enough. We're losing Lomax, who's one of our biggest attacking weapons. What is it that makes you think we're going to be so much better next year? There is nothing that I've seen that says that we're going to be anything other than middle of the road again next year. We'll finish somewhere between 7th and 14th again next season. Yay, let's celebrate that. How do we improve? Because I've seen, I have not seen that level of improvement the Dragons fans keep telling me about. We are still in the same place we have been for the last 15 fucking years. It hasn't improved. We are nowhere. There were, there, there, there were some good performers, I guess, in that game. Like Jacob Little, he, uh, he's going to get my three. Uh, he was the, the best player for the Dragons on the field by a considerable margin. He, was a, he just carved them up. He made a lot of tackles, but it was in attack where he just... Everything he did was brilliant. Loved what he did. Loved what he brought to, to, to the, the team. He, he's not an 80-minute player. Um, but he was our best. So he gets the three by the length of the straight. Zach Lomax, I thought his, his, opening, his opening 20 minutes was as good as anything you've seen from anybody. Anybody this season. It was probably the best 20 minutes of rugby league from any player all season. He was still trying right to the end, and, and he, was, he was in tears at the end of the game. Like, he wanted to finish with the big red V on a positive note, and he did everything in his power to make sure that happened. Attack, defence, scramble, everything he could. But it wasn't enough. A winger just, just can't have enough of an impact on the game. I wish we had more of him. But he's gone. He's gone to Parramatta next year. He gets the two. The one, there, there were certainly a few few blokes that, that, that put up their hand and, and did a lot of hard work. Um, I'm going to go with Jack DeBellin, though, as my one. Uh, I thought he, he came off the bench. Uh, no, he actually started the game. Uh, but, yeah, I, I thought, it, thought he had a, a really... He, I'm so used to him coming off the bench. But uh, he started this game. But, I mean... Yeah, he was a powerhouse through the middle, and again, his, his work rate. Uh, I thought when he when he took that short goal line drop out, I thought Jack DeBellin, he's going to be the hero. Ends up being the the big red horse from from Canberra that's a hero. But um, 
Yeah, I, I thought DeBellin had a, had a really good, strong, solid game, attack and defence, and, and did his job. A um, couple of others. Toby Couchman, I thought, was really good off the bench. Um, was in just about every tackle after he, after he got on the field. Um, I think finished with 30-odd with tackles and, and nearly 100 metres. Um, Jaden Sewer was, was very close to my three two ones. Uh, Svelia Tamale, I thought, on debut, apart from that, that one poor tackle on, on Hopawade, had a very good debut. Um, but three two ones, three to Little, two to Lomax, one to the DeBellin. See you next year.